Welcome to the video. I am Ryan Knows Tech with our tech blog, TechInform.us. Here today reviewing the new Trent IMP 1000 1100 milliamp hour mobile battery pack and charger. This is something I got for review just about a month ago. I've had a lot of time to play with it on our trip to Southern California for a week, constantly being out of hotels and airports between um, between all the way down just south of San Diego all the way up to just north of Santa Barbara so we covered a lot of coastline uh, during that week and I actually use this quite a bit to keep my iPhone 4s and iPad 3 um, as topped up as I could during that trip so essentially uh, you've probably seen the unboxing I did of this I'll try to leave the link down below this is a relatively bulky and heavy and when I say that not bulky as in something you wouldn't want to carry around but it's not one of those weak little battery packs that'll charge your iPhone for 30 minutes and put 5% in it and then need to be recharged. This is a substantial mobile power pack that is capable of recharging something as powerful as an iPhone in my experiences four to five times from about dead. So this is a really powerful device that uh, really helped me a lot. Uh, and it's really simple to use, as most of these actually are. Looking over here, uh, we just have a power button. Press and hold that. It's going to give you a notification of how much power you have. There's three blue LEDs, low, medium, and high. That also turns it on and starts the charging when you're plugged in via this powered USB port. Simply take a USB cable, whether that's an Apple Sync cable, anything that charges via USB can be used with this device. So I'm just going to charge an iPhone and an iPad here today. Plug that in, throw this end into the iPhone, and there we go, 55% and charging. I will be uh, perfectly honest and say that this does not charge as quickly as it would from the wall, of course. We're not dealing with 110 volts of power, but it does charge as quickly as it would from, say, plugging it into a USB port on your Mac or your PC or in an airport charging station or something like that. So it's definitely uh, very usable, very simple to use. Uh, cameras, camcorders, if I were to use my flip right now I could throw that into the USB and it would work just fine. The iPad of course has a significantly larger battery than the iPhone. So yes, it will take longer to charge and you're probably not going to get four or five, excuse my filthy screen, four or five full charges uh, with the iPad as it's a larger battery, but you're definitely going to get one or two in my experiences and it does charge decently quickly. Um, it's not heavy. It's not something I would worry about putting in my pocket. It's smaller than a wallet, of course a little bit heavier. And um, the build quality seems to be pretty good and this is definitely a product that I would recommend. If you're planning on traveling somewhere where you know that you're going to be away from the wall, you're going to be away from any other method of charging your devices, this is definitely guaranteed a couple full charges in your pocket. So very, very, very useful. Now of course this itself is going to have to be recharged every now and then. And that is easily done with the included power cable. It's non-grounded, non-polarized, so you can plug that in however you like. And then of course this end is just going to fit in over here to the DC in uh, port there. So very simple uh, device here and I do highly recommend it. It's 75 to 79 dollars as I saw online. It's uh, as high as 100 in some places online, but definitely check it out, the Nutrient IMP1000. Thanks so much for watching the review and I'll talk to you in a later video. Bye-bye.